Hey everybody, how's everybody doing? Welcome back to my channel where we do a new pick a card reading each and every week. I hope that you get something out of this one. Today we're taking a look at Why Can't I Find Love? This was suggested by one of our subscribers. If you have a suggestion for a reading, just let me know in the comments. I'd be glad to do one for you. Now remember this is a general reading. That means that not everything will resonate with you. But be sure that there's somebody out there who needed that part. But just take what resonates with you and leave the rest. Today we've got three groups. We have the tiger, the gorilla, and the lion. Just simply choose the one that resonates with you. You know, which one really jumps out at you. If you need a minute, you know, just pause the video. Now, once you've chosen a group, simply go to the timestamp that is linked to each reading. You can find the timestamps below each picture and in the comments and description below. Why can't I find love? Let's find out. Hello, Group 1. First, I want to tell you that when I was drawing these cards, I had goosebumps the whole time. Something really powerful is happening here, so I'm excited for this reading. Okay, so let's get right to it. We're going to start with uh, the Crystal Visions Tarot deck. The first card we get is the Six of Cups. Next is the Knight of Pentacles. And then the Seven of Pentacles. Okay, the Six of Cups. Okay, this is the energy of lost love or past love. You may feel like, as my spirit guides are telling me right now, that you lost your chance at love or for love. That that love is gone. It's passed you by. And that you let this the person that maybe you were meant to be with you, or your soulmate, you let them go. That's what you're feeling. Okay, that's what my spirit guides are telling me. So somebody out there is feeling that. They're also telling me that someone from your past is coming back into your life. It could be an ex, it could be a friend, it could be a passing acquaintance. But somebody from your past is coming back into your life. Yeah, maybe someone is like someone that you loved from the past, but it doesn't have to be. For some of you, it is. Okay, and I'm being told that you have to decide what you want. Do you want that person from your past back, or do you want to move forward? I'm getting the energy of in-between, that you're not manifesting what you want because you're unbalanced. You don't know what you want. Do you want that past person who seems to have gotten away or do you want somebody new? Got to be hot or cold. Lukewarm doesn't do it. Okay. Got to be in or out. Okay. Then we go to the Knight of Pentacles. I'm being told that you're being too cautious. The Knight of Pentacles is a slow moving energy. And so what I'm being told is that you're being way too cautious. You're not doing what it takes to find love. Okay, you may be juggling a lot of things right now, and you feel like you don't have any time. So I'm being told that you kind of need to reprioritize things. Consider what's not important or not that important, and let it go. Just get rid of it. You're better off letting things go than juggling everything, because then you're not making time for you, and you're not making time to do the things that you need to do to find that love that you're seeking. Yeah, I just get that you're in between. You have to commit and go for that past love or let it go and move on. I've been, I, I just got this message. And it's something that my friends have been telling me. And so my spirit guides are saying, this is what is what I need to tell you, okay, is that 
You have to have an attitude of next. You got to throw yourself out there. Go out on social media, go out on these on dating sites and have the attitude of next. Just go through the people who are that you're finding online. Try them on for a while, see if they fit. If they don't, just say next and move on. Don't spend too much time with somebody who isn't going to help you, who isn't going to who is obviously just not the one. You're just not the right person. But you may have to go through a lot of people to get to the one that you want. And maybe then, as you're doing that, you may find somebody from your past on there. Or they may come back into your life. But you've got to be putting yourself out there and just have the attitude of next. I'm feeling that there's some bad energy. That all this juggling has left some bad energy inside that you're not getting rid of. You're busying yourself with too many things, so you can't even, you're not even aware of it. But you have to find balance. You have to clear yourself and balance your chakras. And that's done mainly through meditation. Or you could find a Reiki healer, somebody to help you with your energy, that you've got to get rid of the negative energy that you have. Some of you aren't even aware that you have it. Okay. Let's look at the Seven of Pentacles. My spirit guides are telling me, you need to look at how far you've come. Look at where you've been. Look at all of the, all of the things that you have overcome. Be grateful for those things that you have overcome. Be grateful that you have, that you've learned a lesson from those things. And look at where you are right now. Look at how wonderful your life actually is. You're closer to your soulmate than you think. But you need to be patient. They're just not that far away. They're very close. Yes, I'm being told that you need to rest. You need some rest. You're juggling way too much, okay? You gotta let some things go. You need to forget about all your problems for a while. And they're telling me that you need to understand that you have to set your intention and you have to let it go. Okay. The law of manifestation, you know, learn about it. It's, it's a real thing. Okay. You have manifested your life so far. Everything that you have right now, everything that you don't have right now, you've manifested. But what you need to do is really sit down and think about what it is that you really want and then act as if you already have it. And you've probably heard that a million times, but it works. But you have to let it go. You have to set the intention and forget about it. Okay, that's what my spirit guides are telling me. Set the intention, let it go. Okay, now we're going to go to the Energy Oracle deck. And I'll pick some cards. The cards we get are Hostilities, Magician, and the Mirror, and Rest and Rejuvenation. Okay, yeah, this is this goes right along with what I'm what I've been feeling and what I've been told so far. Okay, Hostilities. You have some feelings that have been holding you back. Okay, you've got to figure out what that is, and it's different for each of you. I'm not getting any specifics on this, but there's something that's holding you back. Okay, there's some negativity in your life that you have to let go of. So look at your feelings. You know, think about it throughout the day. What am I feeling? What am I feeling today? What am I feeling? What is this person doing that makes me feel, you know, how is this making me feel? They did this, now how do I feel about it? And if you're feeling anything negative, you've got to let it go. That probably tells you you have a deeper need to let that emotion go. So there's some negative feelings that I'm feeling. It's like anger and frustration. Maybe it's jealousy or sadness. Maybe it's hate or dislike. You know, even if it's a minor thing, like somebody at work that you don't like, and they just bring you down every time you see them, um, you've got to let that go. you got to change that energy. Anything like, I don't like that person, will bring negative energy to you. You've got to let that go. 
You have to learn to like everybody, to get along with everybody, to keep your emotions in check, to keep the positivity flowing. This is what we call in the flow. You don't let things that are external to you change your flow, change your emotions. Okay, so there's something negative that's holding you back. It's blocking you. I'm being told you need to unblock your heart chakra. Okay, there's something in there. There's a grudge. There's a some unforgiveness. There's some 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 hurt that is that you're holding in your chest, that you're holding in your heart. Okay, and you've got to learn to let that go. You gotta unblock that. And you do that through meditation. You can find a Reiki healer in your area to help you with that. You could do a lot on your own just through meditation and thinking about opening up, envision a gold light coming into your body and centering in your heart, and then opening that energy up to spread outward. Okay, and that just doing that through meditation will help to unblock that. You know, just think about positive, replace negatives with positives. Okay, the next card we get is the Magician and the Mirror. Okay, what this card is telling me, and what my spirit guides are telling me, is that you hold a lot of power. You are a powerful person. You're really good at manifesting, whether you realize it or not. Because you have manifested your life so far. All the good and all the bad in your life, you've manifested. When we look at this card, we see that this Magician, in his left hand, He's holding a flame of fire, and that represents passion and action. Okay, and in his right hand, he's holding a vortex of water, which represents light and reflection. The water is clarity of thought. Fire is creativity. Okay, so clarity and creativity, these are the two things that you're good at, right? So you need to use those things. You gotta start taking action. I keep hearing next. Have this next attitude. And you've gotta just go out there and put yourself out there and just say yes for a while. I don't know if you've ever seen the movie The Yes Man. Sometimes we just need to say yes to things. You are powerful. You have the ability to manifest whatever you want. You gotta look at yourself in the mirror and if you see anything negative when you look in the mirror, you got to let that go. you got to see the powerful magician that you are, the powerful creator that you are, the powerful manifester that you are. Okay, you are powerful. I keep hearing, clear your chakras, heal your chakras, align your chakras. you got to get your ability to manifest back on track. This card is also telling me that blessings are coming your way, which I have felt this whole time. Look, what you want is really close. You're almost there. Have a little patience. Have some patience with yourself. Find those negative things in your life and get rid of them. There's, again, there's some negativity that is blocking you, and you have to figure out what that is. This is something only you can figure out. Nobody can tell you you're too negative about this, too negative about that. It's up to you to figure that out. Your spirit guides are there to help you. But you have to figure this out. This is all part of the lesson that your spirit guides are trying to teach you. It's just part of the process. You have to learn to be positive, to believe, and to believe that you are powerful because you are magic. And I'm getting goosebumps as I say that. This is one of the major messages that your spirit guides want you to hear. You are magic. You are powerful. You have to accept that within yourself instead of beating yourself up. You have to know that's who you are. You are magic. Okay, then the next card we get is Rest and rejuvenation. It's the same energy, right? That you're juggling too many things. And that you gotta let some things go. 
It's okay to drop some balls now and then. Some things just aren't that important. Get rid of what's not important in your life, okay? Because that's just cluttering things up and it's making you tired, it's wearing you out so that you don't have the powerful energy that you should have. You're not being the magician you are right now because you're too busy. You're busying yourself with things that just are not important. Yeah, you gotta get rid of what's not important because what is important is healing yourself, is relaxing, taking the time to meditate on a daily basis, get in touch with you, you need to find leisure time. Maybe you need to take a vacation or a holiday. Okay, do that to clear your head and get rid of the negativity, whatever that is. Take time for yourself. Take time to relax. Okay, when you look at this card, it's kind of interesting. It's a, a man who's meditating and you see light coming toward him. And I, that is why... I keep being told you need to meditate because there's information, there's light that is that the spirit, your spirit guides are trying to get to you, but you're blocking it somehow. You need to have that, get that light coming into you, right? Get that knowledge, that self-knowledge coming to you, that ability to manifest coming into you. Let's go to the Oracle of the Unicorn cards. The first card we get is Cycles, followed by Abundance, and then Dance. Okay, Cycles, Abundance, and Dance. Interesting. Okay, so the Cycles card is you need to understand that life is full of cycles, right? There's a Bible scripture that talks about there's a time for every season, right? There's a time for everything. Don't try to force love. Okay, don't try to force it. Okay, you've got to do what it takes to find love, but don't force it. Let it come to you. Right? As long as you're trying to find it, it will find you. So you're trying too hard. You're spending too much time in your head thinking about it, beating yourself up over it. Just understand that there's a cycle to everything. You're connected to Mother Earth. And the Mother Earth has cycles, right? There are different times in our life. Just understand that there is a time for love. And that time is near, but it's not may not be quite yet. Just be grateful for what you're learning and what you're experiencing right now. Everything in life has cycles. There is a time and a place for everything. Just remember... There is a plan for you. Listen to your intuition to find what that plan is. And let your intuition lead you. Next, we get abundance. Okay, again, I'm being told, stop and remember what you have been blessed with. You need to start a gratitude practice. There are lots of ways of doing this. What I like to do personally is I like to sit on the side of my bed before I go to bed every night and think of at least three things that I'm grateful for from that day. And it may just be, you know what? I had a really good lunch today. Okay. doesn't have to be a lot, but whatever, whatever good thing happened to you that day, be grateful for it because you have already been blessed with abundance. Whether you know that or not, or understand it or not, don't compare yourself to others. Just look at what you have been blessed with, with the positive things in your life, and be grateful for it. You know, if you think about it, I always like to use the parable of a little child, right? A little child keeps saying, Mommy, 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 I want a cookie. Mommy, 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 I want a cookie. Finally, the mom gives him the cookie, him or her the cookie, and then they just run off with it. Another child says, Mom, can I have a cookie? And he asks politely, without whining or badgering his mother, and is given a cookie, and then they say, Thank you. I really appreciate it. I appreciate that you took the time out to do that for me. Right now, when you look at those two kids, who would you rather give something to? Right, you want to give something to the grateful child. 
So you need to be the grateful child. Okay, the universe has blessed you with a lot of things. Once you're really grateful for them, then more will be given to you. And I have really, really powerful goosebumps right now. It's my spirit guides are telling me that I need to <laughs> stop and do that too. Okay, we all do. You need to understand that blessings are coming to you. Okay, they're on their way. They're very close. That's what I've been told. But be patient. Be grateful. Okay, and then the last card we get is dance. You know, dance. Celebrate who you are. Be grateful for what you have. Move your body and dance. Be grateful. Be happy for what you have. Celebrate. Take the action where action is needed. Celebrate when it's needed. Be grateful when it's needed. But celebrate. Celebrate who you are. Love who you are. Because you're magical. You're a magical, powerful magician. You're a wonderful person. Full of great qualities. And you have a lot to offer someone. I hope this has helped you in some way. If it has, I'd appreciate it if you'd give us a big thumbs up and consider subscribing to our channel. Till next time. May your life always be full of love. Hello, Group 2. Why can't I find love? Well, let's take a look here. Okay, we're going to start with the Crystal Visions deck. And we're going to pick three cards. The first cards we get are the Five of Cups followed by the Four of Pentacles, and then the Hierophant. Okay, let's look at the Five of Cups. Okay, the Five of Cups is an interesting card. It's never a real good card, but this is Why Can't I Find Love? And this card has a lot to do with it. Okay, this is talking about disappointment and loss. And what I'm feeling from my spirit guides right now is that you've, that you have had a lot of loss in your life, a lot of disappointments. Okay, and so you're starting to shut the door on love. And I'm not sure you even know that you're doing that. Now, many of you can't get over an ex. And for others of you, there's just been lots of love trauma where you've loved somebody and they didn't love you back or you had a crush on somebody and then they said something that just really destroyed you inside i think everybody goes through some of those things throughout their life but i think you've gone through a lot of it and so you're closed off i think that most of you don't try anymore because you just think it's not going to work out anyway so why try? Why try if it's not going to work out? And I think some of you believe that you're cursed. That just, you know, I'm cursed. This is never going to happen. I'm never going to find love. I just must be cursed. But I get the feeling that there's hope here. I'm going to pick another card. My spirit guides are telling me to take another card to clarify the Five of Cups for you. Okay, the card we get is the Empress. Okay, so yeah, what I'm feeling is that you will find love. There is, yeah, expect better things to come. That's what I'm being told. And often with the Empress, uh, you get children. And I do feel children in your future in some way. I think for a lot of you, it's because you're, or you're, you or your spouse will get pregnant. But for others of you, you will marry into children. But children will be in your future. The Empress is also telling me that, you know what, you're a very nurturing and giving person. But some people have taken advantage of that, and that's partly why you're closed off. Your good nature has been taken advantage of before. And probably by someone you loved. By, you know, a romantic love for a lot of you. All right, now let's move on to the Four of Pentacles and see what else we get here. 
Okay, Four of Pentacles, be open to new possibilities, okay? I think some of you are being selfish. That you've stopped opening up to others and you're just focusing inward and you're focusing maybe too much on career and finances. Yeah, I've been being told you're focusing on money and you got to stop that. That focusing on money is making you selfish and not letting you turn outward because you've been burned before and it's hard for you to turn outward. But you need to. You need to open up. Yeah, you need to open up to others. Be kinder. Be more thoughtful. Okay, let's look at the Hierophant. The Hierophant is telling me that you're going to be successful in love. So don't worry so much about it. Yeah, my spirit guides are telling me you need to grow your spiritual side. Stop being so judgmental about others and open up. Yeah, this is the recurring feeling I'm getting is open up, open up again. You close yourself off, but that's not your true nature. Your true nature is to open up and be open and very thoughtful and giving, nurturing. That's who you really are, but you've lost that part of you. A lot of you have, okay? But that's what I'm getting with this group is that you need to open up again. Stop being judgmental. Stop stop being turned inward. Stop focusing on money and career, things like that. And grow your spiritual side. Be open. Yeah, I was just told, open up to your spirit guides and angels. Okay, they're there to help. But you're closed off to them right now. Okay, so how do you do that? Well, it's through meditation and listening to your intuition. Okay, really listening to your gut and asking for help. Let's go to the Energy Oracle deck here. We're going to pick three cards. The first one we get is Angel of Strength, followed by the Fifth Chakra Angel Gabriel, and then we get Contract. Okay, the Angel of Strength. You need to focus on your inner strength. Okay, you are strong. But you're not feeling strong right now. You've lost that somewhere. So you need to focus on that inner strength and strengthen your spirituality. Yeah, you're strong. You really are strong. You're just not aware of it. You've forgotten that part of you. Or you haven't awakened that part of you yet. And again, I'm being told to call upon your spirit guides and your angels. Focus on your spirituality and that inner strength will come out. You'll find that inner strength. And when you find that inner strength, it's easier for you to manifest what you want. Again, how do you do that? Work on your meditation. Work on listening to your gut. Work on your intuition and ask for help. In your meditations, ask your angels and your spirit guides for help to lead you to where you should go to help you find that inner strength. Okay, then we get the fifth chakra, Archangel Gabriel. Okay, so the fifth chakra is the throat chakra. And the Archangel Gabriel is a messenger, right? So this is coming from your angels here. You need to you need to open up, open up your voice. Start speaking up for yourself. I think you're being walked on a little bit, maybe at work, maybe in previous relationships, or some of your friends you feel like are just walking all over you. Well, you got to speak up for yourself. You've got to let people know that, hey, you can't take advantage of me anymore. Okay, I'm also, again, being told to call upon your spirit guides and your angels. Use your voice. Use your voice. Speak up. Tell them what you want. So your spirit guides and archangels are there to help you. And they can't do anything against your will. All right. Above all else, the universe, God, I like to call it God, has given you free agency, the ability to choose. And so your spirit guides and your angels can't do anything against your own free will. But when you ask them for help, they can then help you. And I don't think you've done that. So your 
spiritual side is, is weak because you haven't spoken up for yourself and asked for their help. Okay, that's what this Archangel Gabriel is saying here is ask for help. Speak up for yourself. Be true to who you are. Get that inner strength out. You know, find that inner strength so that you become a strong, beautiful person. It's not that you're not beautiful right now. You are, but it's that inner strength will come out of you and then it'll show the world your true beauty inside and out. Next card is the contract. Immediately I'm being told you have a soul contract with somebody, right? So this is a soulmate that's coming in that you've had a contract with previously before this life. Some of you have had many lives with this person is what I'm being told, but you have a contract with this person. So you will find them because of the contract and they will try to find you. They're trying to manifest you right now, just like you're trying to manifest them. I'm also seeing a legal document. Okay, now when I see a legal document, usually that means marriage. And so I'm seeing marriage for you. You have a soul contract with this person that you're probably going to marry. But again, you've got to, you've got to open up. You've got to love yourself. Work on that inner beauty, that inner strength, that inner spirituality. Call upon God. Call upon angels. Call upon your spirit guides. You are meant to find love. Okay, now we're going to go to the Oracle of the Unicorn deck. First card we get is Imagination, then Adventure, and finally Awareness. Okay, Imagination. It says envision a new reality. Okay, yeah, this is this is goes right along with what I've been feeling here. Because you've got to work on your manifestation techniques, right? Your law of attraction, study the law of attraction. You have to envision that new reality that you're looking for. You gotta really focus on what it looks like, what it feels like, what it sounds like, what it smells like, what it you know, but really, what does it feel like in my heart? How does that, how is that going to make me feel that new love that I'm trying to manifest? How will I feel? What will life be like with this person? What are the qualities that you really want? And not the superficial qualities. Don't worry about height, weight, all that. Focus on the real qualities that you're looking for in your person. And then it says... Give yourself permission to dream. Yeah, see, I think you've lost some of that because you have some hurts that you've had. You know, and hey, I get it. I really do. I understand that sometimes it's hard to to dream because you just feel like you're going to get hurt. You're going to be let down. I get it. That's a real issue. Yeah, I understand, but you got to give your, yourself permission to dream again to know that there's somebody out there for you who's not going to hurt you, who's not going to step all over you. Okay, there is somebody out there like that. So give yourself permission to dream about that. And again, it goes back to the law of attraction where you have to be able to visualize it and visualize it so much that you believe it yourself. And it says, believe in unlimited possibilities. Yeah, see... This whole thing, I, what your spirit guides are trying to tell you right now is that there is hope, that there is a possibility of more, and that you need to ask for help. You need to work on your visualizations and your ability to see that future that you really want. Okay, work on that stuff because that's going to help you to overcome all the hurt and the negativity that you've received in the past. Okay, next card is adventure. Dare to do things differently. Yeah, see, whatever you've been doing hasn't been working for you. Otherwise, you wouldn't be watching this video, right? So think about what's blocking me. How do I find love, right? 
you're going to have to decide to do things differently. You can't keep doing what you've been doing because that's not working. And again, I don't think that you've really worked on your own spirituality or your own, you need to improve the visualizations. And again, this is one thing that people don't understand about the law of attraction is you have to be able to set the intention, envision this new reality that you want so vividly that all of your senses are involved. And then you got to let it go and then just act as if you've already received that. But you got to let it go. If you focus on it all the time, the universe is kind of going, yeah, 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 I get it, I get it, I heard you already. You know, you don't like people just saying the same things over and over and over again to you. Well, the universe doesn't appreciate that either. What they want you to do is really feel the emotions of having that thing and then acting as if you have it and letting it go. And it says, manifest your travel dreams. Okay. And I think this doesn't have, actually have to mean that you get, you know, you go travel someplace. That's not required. But in your manifestation, in your envisioning, in your imagination, manifest your dreams. Allow yourself to see yourself in that new home, in that new relationship, in that new whatever. Allow yourself to travel to those places in your mind. Okay, then it says move to a new location. And again, you've got to shift your reality. Shift your current thinking to that new thinking. And by shifting that, that moving to a new location in your mind and heart, you will actually change your reality. Okay, and the last card we get is awareness. Live in the moment. This is something that I have learned throughout my life, is to live in the moment. I always say the most important moment of your life is this one right now. Because it's the only moment that you can change. You can't change the past. You can't change the future, but you can change now. It's the only one you have control over. So live in the moment. Let go of the past. Don't worry about the future. You know, I've said this over and over again. Learn from the past but don't live in it. Plan for the future, but don't worry about it. Be in the now and be happy. That's what you need to learn to do. Let go of the past. The past is the past. There's nothing you can do about it. So why why spend all your time thinking about it? Forget it. Okay? Take the lessons and change now. Plan for your future. You have to plan for your future. And you have to have a plan of attack for what you want. But you know what? The only thing that you can change is right now. So live in the here and now. And part of that is the next thing that says, be conscious of your thoughts. Yeah, that's living in the moment, is understanding your thoughts. When you start feeling negativity, when you hear that negative self-talk, change it. Change it immediately. The negative self-talk is getting you nowhere. It is manifesting all the wrong things in your life. Now, you are a manifester. Everybody is. You've manifested your life. You're living in the life that you've manifested. So if you don't like it, change your thinking. That's how you change your reality. Okay? Be conscious of your thoughts in the here and now. And lastly, look for the signs and guidance which is the message I'm getting over and over again from my spirit guides, from your spirit guides, is that ask for the help. Ask for help and then look for the signs that they are actually helping you. Look for the signs and the guidance. And the guidance comes through your intuition and through your feelings. Don't be in your head so much. Be in your feelings. Your heart and your gut actually have the same neurons that are in your brain and they are sending you messages when you say I feel it in my gut that is literal when you say I feel it in my heart that's literal okay we say those things because we actually do think in our gut and in our heart but those are the things that are giving us more correct information than overthinking things I think we all tend to overthink things 
So live in the moment. Live in the now. That's what your spirit guides want you to know. Live in the now. Let go of the past. All right. I see nothing but beautiful things for you. But you got to ask for the help. Receive the help and change. If this helped you in any way, please give us a big thumbs up. Smash that like button if you would, please. It really helps me out. It tells the YouTube algorithm to show my video to more people. Okay, I really appreciate that. And if this resonated with you, consider subscribing. But till next time, may your life always be full of love. Hello, beautiful people of group three. Let's take a look at why can't I find love? Okay, let's go to the Crystal Visions Tarot deck. We're going to take three cards. Okay, the first card I get is the Four of Pentacles. And then the Four of Cups. Followed by the Ten of Cups. So we got two fours and two cups. Okay. Four, yeah, I was just told here quickly that four has some kind of significance for you. Okay, so just pay attention to the fours. All right, now of all of the of all the groups, okay, I, I do a meditation before each of these to try to pick up on the energy of the group. And the energy that I got was the most negative with this group. But it was also the most positive. Okay, so if you don't feel like you're have any negativity in your life, maybe this wasn't the right reading for you, or maybe one of the others are better. But anyway, just know that some things here are meant for a few people and not for all. If some things don't resonate with you, just forget them and take what does. So the Four of Pentacles. Okay, to start with, we got the Four of Pentacles in the last group as well, in group two. So there may be some messages for you in group two. So you may want to check that out as well. Okay, so first of all, I want you to know that better days are ahead. Yes, first message from Spirit today is better days are ahead. And they want you to be open to new things. This is where the negativity starts to come in. You're focusing too much on yourself. You're becoming selfish, and I don't think you realize it. So you need to be careful, and especially when it comes to money, be more generous with your money, and just stop focusing your life around money. Okay, for some of you, that's, you know, you're focusing too much on career, on school, on whatever, and you're ignoring your social life. And it's turning you selfish because you're not turning... You're not opening up to people. You're not turning outward. And that's the big thing that is stopping you right now is you're focusing you're focusing too much inward and not external on other people. Okay, so the Four of Cups. The Four of Cups usually tells us that you're apathetic, that you may be depressed. Those emotions are being caused because you're focusing inward and not outward. You need to get out of yourself and into helping others. That will get you out of the funk that you're in. You know, that's kind of what I feel like is that you're you're apathetic, you're depressed, you're just in this funk. You have this cloud over you of you know, just a gray cloud over you. You know, you're full of anxiety and worry, depression, you're and apathy. Those things are controlling you right now. Every day seems like the same old, same old. You're just in this rut. You can't get out, which is causing all of these negative emotions. And sometimes I don't. I think you're just so used to them that you don't. You don't even realize that that's what those emotions are because you're so used to them right now. You're in the same old, same old state, which isn't good. It's never good for anybody. And it's my spirit guides are telling me it's not that you're not lovable. For some of you, you just think that you're just not lovable because you haven't been successful in love. And so you think, okay, it's just me. I'm not lovable. And that's, again, turning you inward. 
some of you have made some bad choices in the past which are affecting your life now and like I told group two you have to have you have to be in the moment okay every moment is important and the most important moment of your life is this moment right now because it's the only one that you can change you can't change the past and you can't predict the future and I say this a lot, but I try to live my life by this motto. Learn from the past, but don't live in it. Plan for the future, but don't worry about it. Be in the here and now and be happy. That's the attitude that you need to start finding, okay? Stop living in the past. Those bad things that happened to you in the past are not predictors of the future even though you think they are, and they're not. The predictors of the future are what you're doing right at this moment. This moment is the only thing that you can change. Okay, I just heard for some of you, when you're in a relationship, you tend to focus on all the bad things and not the good. You might, whoever it is you're dating at the time, you may interrupt them a lot and say things like, yeah, but you don't want, want to know how bad my day was. And they really don't want to know how bad it was. They only want to know how good it was. Okay. So that's for some of you. You got to get out of the problems. You got to forget about the problems. Move on. Learn from them. Move on. Okay, because here's the happy part of all this. Okay. We got the Ten of Cups. And to me, the Ten of Cups is the best card in the whole tarot deck. Why? Because it, it's happiness. It's family. It's peace. It's unconditional love. It's meeting all of your emotional needs. I'm being told that you're a nurturer, whether you realize it or not. And I think you've hidden that part of you. But you're a nurturer. Family is easy for you because of that. You just haven't found your family yet. Your future family with a spouse, with children, and the peace that you find inside of a family. That is what you are going to receive very soon. As soon as you turn around this whole thing about being in a funk, being down, being apathetic. you got to start caring about others. When you start to care about others, everything turns around for you. Okay? And it's going to happen fast. So you've got to get into that mindset of helping others. Not focusing on yourself, but focusing on others. Okay, we're going to go to another deck here. We're going to go to the Energy Oracle deck. And the first card we get is deceit followed by action and then woman holding a heart there's somebody in your life who is being deceitful okay or at least you think there is maybe it's an ex maybe it's just somebody that you trusted maybe a family member and some of you are just being paranoid okay but yeah there there is there's some deceit going on somewhere like I said, you could be paranoid. It could be all in your head. You may think that someone's being deceitful and they're not. Okay, so be careful of your judgments. Don't judge. And don't judge yourself. Because sometimes, I think, I think too, you lie to yourself. You need to be honest with yourself. And not negative, but honest. Honest about what your strengths are. And honest about what your weaknesses are. And that's okay. It's okay to have weaknesses. But it's good to have strengths and you need to focus on your strengths and not your weaknesses okay because you have a lot of strengths like I said you're a nurturer you're very good with people when you want to be and maybe you haven't wanted to be for a while you know you're just I just keep hearing that you're in this rut you're in this rut that you're having a hard time getting out of and so you may be lying to yourself about some things so stop that okay Distance yourself from anybody who's actually being deceitful, right? You don't need that in your life. You just don't. Okay, then action. 
I get this card a lot, but it's a good card to have. What it's, the spirits are telling me through this card is you need to get out of the rut and start taking action. And the time to start that is now. We've already talked about now is the most important time in your life. It's the only thing, only time in your life you can make a change. Take action. Don't be the don't be the horse that's just standing there or just plodding along. Be the horse that's jumping ahead, that's taking action, that's moving. Be that person. Remember, life rewards those who take action. I tell people all the time that if you don't plan, life will plan for you. And you're not going to like where life takes you. That's kind of what I'm hearing right here. Life rewards those who take action. Just remember that. When you're sitting alone, getting depressed, thinking, woe is me, why can't I find love, all of those feelings, stop the thinking and do something. Because then we get woman holding a heart. You know, now, I'm hearing that the woman holding the heart is you. Okay, you're this beautiful person holding your heart out for somebody to love. But as you take action, you can start to look in the mirror and see that person holding your heart, going, you know what? I am important. I am worthy of love. And you can look at yourself in the mirror and really love yourself. And once you can truly do that, all of this self-defeating things will go away. All of that stagnant mindset that you've been dealing with will just go away. Because there's a beautiful life that's ready for you. We're just off the self-defeating thinking, okay? There, there's such beauty. You know, in this person, this card, such beauty here. And that is you, and that is your life. At least that is the reflection of it. The, what could be, as long as you start to take action today. There is somebody out there just waiting for you. Okay? Waiting and trying to manifest you. Right? Because you're perfect for them. And they're perfect for you. And they're just around the corner. I keep being told that they're very, they're very close. They're right there. They're really close. You just have to make some, a few changes. Okay, get rid of the self-defeating mindset. I've heard that several times now. Hopefully I've made that clear. <laughs> Let's go to the Oracle of the Unicorn cards. The first card we get is Anger. Then Celebration. And then Nature. Okay, Anger. Right, I don't I haven't felt a lot of anger here, but for some of you, you're angry. Angry at an ex, angry at somebody, maybe it's some maybe it's a parent, maybe it's a ex, maybe it's a friend. But you're angry for some reason. Okay, and this card's saying express your anger. Safely express your anger. Okay, safely express your anger. There's a difference between just expressing your anger and safely doing it. Doing it in positive ways. Anger is a really good emotion if it causes you to make changes. Anger is bad when you lash out at others. That doesn't help you at all. It doesn't help the other person at all. It doesn't help anybody. But use your anger to take action. Okay. So what the next line says, use anger as a positive force. Now, again, is anger's great if it makes you move, makes you take action. And it says, honor all your emotions as sacred. Yeah, we're given emotions by our Creator for a reason. There's a reason for all of them. And some of the negative ones are there to keep us safe. And anger is one of those. It makes us change. It makes us stop doing the things that are making us angry. Right? Or it makes us remove ourselves from relationships that just make us angry. And when you feel these things, it's okay. Feel them. You know, I'm an advocate of feeling your emotions, but don't let them rule you. Sometimes when you're in a safe place, it's okay to yell into your pillow, to beat up your pillow or something, right? 
to get a punching bag and punch the punching bag. I had a friend as a kid who had anger issues and his mother got him a punching bag. And when he got mad, he'd go to the punching bag and he would punch it and punch it and punch it. And it became a game for the two of us. We'd both see how, how hard we could hit it, how far we could make the, the punching bag move. See, so that when you have anger, get it out, feel it, understand why it's there, and then get rid of it. Okay, then the next card, we get a celebration. Yeah, see, there's such a positive vibe coming from all of this. Uh, the celebration card says, positive outcome is assured. It is assured. Your spirit guides are, are telling you right now, whether you hear them or not, that everything you want is right around the corner. You just got to start taking action again. I think you were at once, but you've gotten into this funk. you got to get out of that. And it says, celebrate your successes. You know, take stock of your life. What are the good things? What are the bad things? And celebrate all the good. Again, look at your strengths, not your weaknesses. Look at your strengths and go, you know what? I am a good person. I am worthy of love. I am a positive person individual that i am a positive influence on everyone around me be that person and enjoy your achievements too many people you see this all the time when you give somebody a compliment if you say i like your shirt they'll say something like oh this old thing they want to deflect all of the good things okay instead you need to enjoy those things enjoy the good things that you, and the good qualities that you have. All right, celebrate those. And when somebody gives you a compliment, make it, let it feel good and say, thank you. I appreciate that. All right. Gratitude. Gratitude can change your life. It has changed mine. Someday I'll make a video on just gratitude and how it changed my life. But just know that being truly grateful for what you do have and the person that you are, being truly grateful for those things are life-changing. Then the card we get is nature. I'm another big believer of nature. Ground yourself. You know, when you're feeling down or you're feeling like things aren't going the way you'd like them, go take a walk out in nature. Listen to the wind rustle the leaves of trees or grass. You know, feel how the dirt feels underneath your feet. Listen for the birds. Listen for the running water. I live near a canyon, and I like to take a hike up the canyon, and there's a waterfall, and it's only about a mile up. It's a little bit of a rugged hike, but it's just about a mile up. And on the way up, I like to just listen to the breeze in the running water and that you can't help but feel peace okay and that's keeping grounded let you know that you are a part of nature and that nature is a part of you okay find sanctuary in nature find time to be alone in nature these times can be some of the most rewarding times in your life you know, we are creations of the universe, of God, okay, and so is nature. So when we get into nature, we start to feel the universe. We start to feel God. Okay, so let that be a sanctuary. Go into nature when you're not feeling great about yourself. Okay, and then connect with the elements. And that's, again, I, to me, that just means being present. Understanding the earth, the wind, water, fire the basic elements, understanding them and let them become one with you. You have a bright future ahead. I think you're just going through a little rut right now. That's all. Just a little rut. And you got to get jump out of that rut and start running towards your future because it's right there. It's there waiting for you to go get. So go get it. If you've gotten anything out of this, we'd sure appreciate it if you gave us a big thumbs up. Just hit, smash, demolish that like button. And if this resonated with you, please subscribe. Every time we get a new like or subscription or a comment, the YouTube algorithm 
shows this video to more people. So I'd appreciate it if you could help us out. Anyway, till next time, may your life always be full of love.